to Gen Banan. We're gonna do some of these fancy task things. Pending tasks. Over here. In the... this thing. Daily tasks. Okay. But what do we want to... see if we can get here. Butcher 13 rats. Do I have any rats? We've got... We got wolves, we got deer, we got pigs, foxes, mega chickens. So, we have to go and get the rats. Deliver 12 iron rivets. We have some extra forging XP. Maybe we do that. Get some extra whittling XP. Kill some. Level 6 rats for melee box 1. Maybe the melee box 2. These are the daily tasks, so we can easily grab some of these. And if we don't complete it, that's fine too. Accept the 12 iron rivets task. And I think we'll grab. This one gives Vitality XP and a better box. Seven level 17 forest spiders. Take that one. And I think we'll go for, don't know exactly where Pine is. I don't think we're quite to that level, realistically. Maybe just go grab the, I kinda wanna see what's in the boxes here too. Let's do the 13 level 6 gray rats. Or something. There should also be the weekly at some point here. Where was that at? Here's the pending tasks. Hmm. Where was that at again? This is this group. I might need to go. Talk to the guy for that. He was in a menu or something. I guess we'll find out. So, what we need to figure out here is where gray rats and forest spiders are. Let's see if we can find those. The gray rats should be somewhere near the middle. They're not on the map here yet. Maybe they're just rat. Rat level six. Oh, there's so many different rats now. Rat level six. They're over here towards the middle. Tiny albino rats. Probably just regular rat here. Let's start heading that way. Over towards the main town area. Then we also need to kill forest spiders. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say the forest spiders are in the forest. Specifically need the level 17 ones. And they are way across the map. Okay. I think we can do that though. And we need to deliver the rivets specifically to like any bank. So that should be fine. Might even be able to grab the weekly tasks at the banks. That should work. Start with the rats here though. And since we're in this area, we'll be able to go and get to an anvil. Make the rivets. That should be good. Also we have a few more do on our journeys here. When well, it's not too far out of the way. There's some pesky rabbits. Let's see here. So it's gonna be up this way. It's gonna be faster to go around here. We got the whole giant ridge south of the main town to worry about. And there's a young Glosquito. All sorts of new stuff. All sorts of new stuff. 
And this is this is definitely assuming that level six gray rat, they just mean level six rat. Because here's a tiny albino rat. It's not gray, but it is level six. There's a second level six rat that exists. We'll head that way. Look at all the blooms out here. My goodness. Fantastic. Should be just outside of town here. Put an anvil over in... in there. Possible. I mean, there's not too many anvils, actually. I think we'd be best off st sticking around here to start. So there's a furnace over in Skull, but not an anvil. Rats should be tiny albino rat here. There's a gray rat. It just says gray rat here. That's exactly what we want. We need to kill some of these. Oh, look at all this stuff. What? Low quality cold times six. Oh my. Honey. Two raw cucumbers and itchweed bones. My goodness. Why did... Why did a level six rat just drop ten things? <laughs> that seems... That seems like a lot. That's, that's a drop table is what that is. My goodness. Interestingly, it did not drop any... I guess there's a departed rat. The first one not drop a departed rat. Wild. I don't think we want low quality coal. Unclean power indeed. What mining level is that? This this seems like it might be slightly bugged. <laughs> Dropping ten things at a time. Let me drop some of these. Take these pine logs, I guess. Man, this this was what two or three kills and you need to go bank again. There's a low quality frost ginger, an eye, a raw tomato, a bowl, seven coal. Wow, <laughs> pretty bizarre. Pretty bizarre. Gonna have to see if other things also drop piles and piles of things. That one that one only dropped three things. This is mysterious. That's mysterious is what that is. What, what mine level is it for? Coal. 25? We got 24. We can almost mine coal. We're probably not going to want the low quality for much of anything. Let's see what else we can grab here. Anything that stacks would be nice. Long, perfect. An old shoe, <laughs> delightful. You know, Thirteen rats in total. Right. They're not dropping. They're not dropping the departed rat every time. Just interesting. That would definitely change things up in the butchery department. Assuming any of this is how things are supposed to be. Which I've got my I've got my doubts. <laughs> There's piles and piles of things here. Take those coins, I guess. Anything else we really want out of these piles? Not particularly. Kinda of past departed rat at this point too, so. That's okay. We can easily take these down with our high quality iron dagger and iron armor. That's pretty good. There's a fist card. I'll take a fist card. That is task completed. Brilliant. Some stone rubble. 
pile of useless rubble. My goodness. So we completed the task. We need to go turn that in or something. Completed. Maybe we can grab it out of here. Or maybe it's going to grab it from the reward spot. Maybe grab it from the reward spot. Okay. I mean, let's attack a few other things. See if they drop giant random piles of drops. Drop a nature card. Decent rat there. Four logs. Two logs. I seem to drop one thing and some bones, not four things and some bones. This seems a little bit more reasonable. Just a little bit. Scrawny bandit. This could have some interesting metas for a fastest way to collect some stuff. Scrawny bandit dropped nothing. Look at the tiny amount of experience we get to find such a low level enemy. Devastating. Two coins. These are a bit more normal. I got a feeling the gray rats are slightly bugged. Interesting, though. Interesting, though. So for the rivets, we need to make 12 iron rivets. Doesn't say what quality it wants. We'll try with just whatever. If we can get some extra forging experience, I'm totally here for it. That is something we desperately need. We are 22 forging. Lots of forging to do. Give these pie blocks, though. Nature cards could be useful. We will put the other stuff away for right now, though. We're finding the level 17 spiders. Probably fine. We're level 20. I think that'll be good. Put some stuff in the bank here. And we should be able to get a crate from the combat task here. From the reward place here. That's the idea, at least. That's the idea. Some pine logs. Nature cards. All my arrows. My fist card, always nice. We've got, we got a good pile of iron bars here. We'll be able to do that easily. There is receive items. A small mail box and a reroll parcel. We get a torn reroll voucher. Two torn be voucher reroll. They can combine with something. So make a bigger one of those. And a small melee box one. We killed some level 6 rats to get this, and we are rewarded with a generic energy elixir tiny. And that is experienced by 50% for one hour, up to 50 bonus, 500 bonus XP. That's smaller than this one, even. That's a shame. I guess we'll use that now while we do our forge in here. We also have a generic moderate for 2,000, plus 60 by 80%, so it's like 50 for one hour. All these, all these separate little buff things take up plenty of bank space here, my goodness. All right. Let's see if we can get away with making 12 low quality rivets here. We're going to be doing some combat after this anyways. Let's take that. We'll take that. We can definitely make some iron rivets. 12 iron rivets. We can't make high quality rivets very effectively. We've already seen that before. Especially if we're going to be using these low quality bars. Iron rivets. Let's see what it takes. We'll try with just any quantity of broken ones, low quality ones. And we're totally breaking a lot of them here, my goodness. It is low quality, I guess. 
not the best. That's 9, 10, 11, 12 rivets. Let's see if we can turn these in. These ones are specifically called iron component rivets, so it's probably that one. Low quality iron component rivets. Probably not what we need. You never know. Lots of the times the names are very specific, but sometimes you can get away with it. I'm gonna go for a turn in here. Should, should be able to do partial turn ins too. That should be fine. Deliver items. Deliver 12 coin rents for times today. No, 12. Yeah, they did, they did count. Perfect. We can receive a large rural parcel and a small iron forging box. Small box of goodies for smiths. Nice. I have a chance for reroll tokens. Another torn voucher. And the iron forging box. Oh my goodness. Just an entire inventory of iron bars. More than what we even started with. Mind these two torn ones. I pick up all these iron bars, my goodness. I will gladly take an inventory of iron bars. I can work with that. Use torn voucher with torn voucher. No, it doesn't look like it. It has to be combined with something. If there's like paper, I don't know if that would count as doing that. Since we're here, let's browse the weekly tasks. Kill 44 level 4 wild pigs with range. 39 slimes with range, 40 gallons with range. 45 level 8 small albino leeches in melee. Or Cook 46 high quality chicken medleys. Yeah, no. We get a range box one with one of these. Could we roll some of them though? I don't think we're gonna make the high quality chicken medleys. I don't think we have any re rolls here. We want a reroll token? Should we roll? Okay. Our one special permission re roll document. Yeah, we can't even do that. Large mini box one, large range box one, large range box one. 39 level three small green slimes is definitely the easiest one here. We were all free. We can also do that. Use your free daily reroll to rule all the tasks. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. High quality cooked beef. Six iron short swords, cows with range, cooked pork, 38 centresses in melee. I'll we'll get a melee box two. Okay. So, we'll make the six iron short swords here for an extra 1300. Doesn't give a smithing box, but that's okay. I'll accept all these. Six iron shorts. In theory, you could probably do lower quality here too. So that'd be fine. I don't think the short swords are the most complicated weapons. We could try to make the high quality iron short sword. A sheet, a pommel, and a cross guard. And pommel is just a sheet. Yeah, we can do that. And getting a Iron short sword would be pretty worthwhile. Try some nice and full like this. Let's grab out the high quality iron bars. Try to do some high quality iron smith in here. With our bonus experience. And because we want to. So iron short sword would be the next weapon we'll be able to wield. So that's worth working on here. We don't have a huge amount of high quality iron bars at this stage. So that's something we're gonna need to work on soon here. Let's start by making sheets of the highest quality. Brilliant. Make a pommel. Regular quality. Another pommel. Regular quality. More sheets. And 
all these regular things will be used to make the better everything. Or all the task ones. Take the qualities I'm saying. Very important. Nope. We are trying to get one item high quality things here. It might be better to just not. <laughs> and we also need a cross guard. And that is just a bar. I agree at the top. Make a couple cross guards. If we get any high quality, that'd be great. Wow, we completely broke from a high quality bar. Wild. Yeah, it's just, just not worth attempting. <laughs> Make these short swords. Regular air high quality. Brilliant. So after that, we won't use high quality. They got another high quality. Nice. We put one of those in the bank. Continue working on making six total. We got three made here. Can't wield this until 21 attack. We're working on that though. It's still 14,000 experience away though. So a work in progress indeed. Useful though. Let's grab out the I guess low quality bars. Probably the smartest idea. So it doesn't care what quality of sword we bring. You can always just slap together some lowest quality possible. Then again, it also we break most of them, so it's probably not ideal. Let's just try it anyways. So we got the sheets. We need like at least three more sheets in order to make the three pommels we need. Make the pommels. And yeah, we make going quality here. There we go. And then we need to make three cross guards. These are going to be some of the best swords you've ever done seen. Click to make one button. All the swords. And technically we did not need to make the last one there. Because that counted as six. But we need to... Was it turn in the six swords? Maybe not. Hmm. Well, we don't need all these extra iron swords. We need to turn these in. Deliver items. No delivery tests. Okay. Let's just make six swords. Wild. Yeah, it's just forge, not deliver. Deliver is very specifically the package here. We can get the parcel here, though. Take that. Another torn voucher. We have to figure out what we can do with these. That's okay. Um, we're making a way to the next section here. What's the next one I want to do? Four spiders. And I guess we can find out where the centaurs are at. They're level 18. That's okay. Centaurus. Level 18. Mm -hmm. right, they're down. They're down to the south. Okay. We're not going to deliver the pork. We're going to do range of cooked beef right now. Let's get over to that area. Are there any banks nearby there? Not really. We're gonna want to be as tanky as possible here. Let's make our way to the store first here. Look at this nice sword. Aim, power. 
potentially slashing or stabbing, hard to say. There's a whole combat rework happening here too, so. Not worried, not worried. That is also why I'm kind of keeping the bronze plate set in the bank. In case crush defense or slash defense or anything like that matters. It's unlikely, because the base stats of the Iron Chain set are just so much better. You never know. You never know. Where are these swords here? We definitely don't need any low or regular quality copies of the same sword. What kind of money we can get for these? Those, 20. So this one for four. This one for nine. Wow, nine coins. Mm. It's something. Kinda. Is it? <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Wonder Bloom. Okay. I guess we'll just go to the bank here. Yeah. They're both kinda out of the way. Would be nice if we had the bank in Emerald City here. That could be helpful. <laughs> we are not quite there yet. 38 of those, and then only 7 of the forest spiders. That's, that's significantly less. Yeah, part of the delivery ones. Less exciting because we have to lose 46 cooked pork. Just, just cooking some beef would be reasonable. Except we don't have any beef to cook. We, we already cooked all of our beef, so. That's something. Yeah, I already have that. Get back out for combat here. All this good stuff. So for later. Grab all of the rat and potato platters. We're gonna be going to fight centaurses. I guess we can find out what they drop before we determine how much of our inventory we want filling up here. Sen... Taurus. Used to be level 52. So, <laughs> most people were not killing level 52 enemies. Just take out a good number of food. The problem is it's so far from a bank. Don't really spend a lot of time walking back and forth. I'll see. Location is might be best off going to Skull to bank. That's okay. Basically, we just need to head straight south for quite some time. Brown Centaurus, Young Brown Centaurus, and then 18 Centaurus. Down. Far to the south. Okay. Yeah, can't really cook the beef. Not gonna deliver the pork. We finished the centaurses and the forest spiders. We could. I mean, we could go kill the cows with range and then cook the beef. So there's some synergies here. If you're trying, could definitely work out. Centaurses. Oh, 18. Rat and potato platters, all just regular. No more fatty or lean ones. They take up way too much extra space and everything. All works out. There's a glow mosquito drop. We're investigating new drop tables, nature cards. Lots of, lots of stuff to do. We also see what enemies are gonna be along the way here. Got some more blow mosquitoes here. Used to be rats here. Level 10. Attacking everybody, trying to leave town here. Now we just have the faction here. There's some horses that you can't fight. They're just here, chilling. 
No amount of rats. Basically, I'm just kidding. Straight this way. Monster Aspire level 28. Slightly more dangerous. Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out. Because anything out here could be wildly different level than it used to be. That is a concern that we should be aware of. There is a young logger. He's level 5. He doesn't hate trees. Oh wait, yes he does. Villager. Village here. Oh, there are little market farm towns and everything. Very good. Got some level 11 gray squirrels. Only three of them. Sometimes the quantities of enemies here are not super crazy. Definitely makes, when you're fighting them at much higher levels, definitely slows down the progress quite a bit. Well, that's okay. We're going for more level appropriate enemies here. Which it seems to at least sometimes do, level appropriate enemies. Sometimes you also get far too low level things. Depends. Cheeky Leaf Boy. A little bit further south here. I kind of like past the path here. This side of the fence we've got some wasps, looks like. Baby wasps. Still enormous and concerning. There you go. Young Doe. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah, it might, might take a little bit to defeat 38 enemies out here. I mean, they're level 18 and we're level 20 with our level 20 gear. Very good. We need centauruses. I said somebody else might also be fighting centaurs. Somebody's walking around in there. And they might just be going past. So the centaurs don't count. Oh, they're aggressive too. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I don't need to fight you. I can appreciate you being aggressive, trying to stop us attacking the other ones here. They're also aggressive, though. That's fine. Let's see what kind of rocks we can get here. They're level 18, so... Could have interesting things. How much XP are we getting? 88.2 and 29.4? It's not bad. Got spider silk. Interesting. These look like spiders. Probably fine. <laughs> they've, they've got almost enough limbs. Something like that. <laughs> Just bones and nothing. Alright. We'll see. Just based on the amount of damage we've taken so far, we might be able to get away with just getting this entire thing done here. That'd be good. That'd be good. We can pick up some stuff. There's a log of some sort there. A willow log. Interesting. What level would that be? Go to skills here. In logging. That is level 30. A low quality orange. Amazing. I feel like the respawn time is pretty good here, at least. We got that going for us. More willow logs. So, kind of a way to get those without train logging as much. That's not a huge deal. Let's see if we get anything else interesting here. I'll kill 38 of these. Come back with the finished inventory. Task complete. 
<laughs> and we're running away from the centaurses. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. So now, I'm gonna go kill some forest spiders. Only seven of them. That's gonna be really easy. And they are further this way, basically. Alright. And then we'll turn some stuff in and skull. Should be great. They, they dropped nothing, really. Like, low quality iron weapon, regular quality bronze weapon. Basically worthless. Basically worthless. So we're just gonna head this way. Didn't use any food. They weren't too strong. The high quality iron doing pretty good. And Reggie. Amazing. We're gonna go this way. Oh yeah. That will get us something, presumably. We'll find out. Some wild rabbits. Level 11. Okay. Go to here. Forest spiders and giant spiders. Over the forest this way. We only need the forest spiders. Very specific. Very cool. is a young troll. He's big. Level 20. Giant spider. No forest spiders in this spider pack, though. You just go over the hill here. It's totally a giant <laughs> underground. Touch his back. And over to the spiders over here. All this extra experience for these challenges just going to add up here. We're on strength. We got strength XP for doing that. Yep. On attack here. We got four spiders and giant spiders. If we just run away, eh, assuming they're aggressive. I mean, they're giant spiders. I'm just, a little bit aggressive. I'm sure it'll be fine. We ran away from all the male centaurs. Just to fight the ones we needed. Not too bad. As long as we're not dying immediately, running away from combat is not super difficult. 29 XP and 9 XP. Ew. Level 17. I wouldn't think they'd be that much lower XP. My goodness. They look like they might have a less health here, too. Green marble. Mm. Lots of various bits here. But we're really here for the extra bonuses and all that. Let's see if we can get anything interesting. Green marbles from the green spiders. That's on brand. That makes sense. Let's go pick up the marbles. Sell them for like one coin or something. Eh. Any spider silk? Is that good for anything? Spider silk. Make some spider silk cloth. Only in the tutorial. Probably not. Spider silk. It's dropped by spiders. Does not appear to do anything. Just somatic. Possibly useful later. Yeah, the base experience for this is not very impressive. It's the extra experience that makes it potentially worthwhile. And all the company points and all that stuff. There you go. Extra 1200 XP we got there. That's pretty good. And that went into attack maybe? Vitality maybe? One of those. 
Look what we have left. These ones are complete. These are the other weekly tasks we can't really see in this window. We have like the daily department tasks and also the weekly tasks available. That'd be more convenient. Got some archers here. Hit you at 100 paces. My goodness. Yeah. I don't think we're worried about that. With our current play schedule, we just grab whatever we can from the weeklies and dailies. Let's see what we get from any of the extra boxes we're gonna get here. Really, it might not be super efficient to do some of these. Just because of how far you need to travel to get to the specific places. But for extra bonus rewards and stuff, that's okay. Browse the tasks here. Completed two. We get a cooking box if we deliver that. A ranged box could have something in it. More cooking experience. This gave us 6,808 strength XP. That's pretty good. Receive items. Look at all this. All sorts of fun stuff. Open the rural parcel. So maybe we got nothing, and then we got a actual participation token. Everyone then maybe you can sell it. Okay, that, that's also nothing. Real parcel. We got a torn piece. Attacker's energy concoction small. Let's attack XP by 6% for one hour. That's very specific. We really do not have bank space for all these things. My goodness. Just grab all this other garbage. We got a general store nearby. Let's see how much all these little bits would sell for. What if we're gonna have multiple of these going at the same time? If we're gonna keep getting stuff like that. Large melee box two for killing all the centaurses. This could be something. It is Attacker's Energy Concoction Compact. 70% XP bonus up to 1500. And this other one, which is 60% bonus for 1000 XP. Uh -huh. Generic, moderate, tiny energy. Oh boy. It's. It's getting excessive. We, we, at this point, we desperately need a, if, if it's gonna be this kind of thing for every skill from these boxes, we desperately need a elixir bag and not use any inventory space for these. It's a little out of control. It's a little out of control. And I really, really do not care about the reroll tokens. So this one's torn. Just get rid of it. Let's see if there's any information here. Torn rerolled voucher. And nope. Oh, just someone. Participation token. Yeah, one coin. <laughs> and can I even sell the torn vouchers here? Alright. Really cannot be asked. So now we've got two things to give a bunch of extra attack experience at a decent rate here, too. That's something. And we also have this one for moderate. That's 80% for 2,000. That's pretty good. 50% for 1,000. We got 57 of these, so actually worth keeping the stack. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So, that is, that is a system. 
all the extra bonus rewards fairly worth it. It is a bit scattered. That's okay. Deliver for a large cooking box. Could potentially have some food in it. 46 cooked pork now. That's a lot of food. We'd have to see if this is really worth it. The smithing box contained like 30 iron bars. This contained like 30 something for cooking. Either food or, I mean, if it's raw food, that's even better, really, because you can get more cooking experience. Range box, which probably just contains another energy thingy. And experience. Not too bad. Did five of the tasks. Got some extra points. Doing good. Doing good. And we'll see if we want to keep on doing this kind of stuff. Or if we want to go more focused on other things. See what happens. Next time. Goodbye.